Hello everyone, welcome back. And in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a ribbon logo animation using After Effects. To create this animation, I'm using this stock photos. So you can download all of the stock photos from the link in the description. So before starting this tutorial, please make sure that you have subscribed my channel and hit the bell icon to get all of my new videos notification. So let's have a look what I will create today. So this was the animation that we will create in this video. So let's start, open your After Effects, go to file then import our all photos. I have already said that you can download all of the stock photos from the link in video description. Just select the folder then import folder. After that create a new composition, go to composition, new composition. Here I am using 1920 pixel by 1080 pixel and 29 frame rate per second, 8 second duration and background color is black. Then click OK. You can rename this composition to main. Drag outside of this access folder. Now right click on your mouse, go to new, then create a new null object, rename it to color control. After then go to effect and preset and search for color control. Drag and apply it to this color control null object. Now select this color control effect control panel, then click control D four times to duplicate it. Now go to project window and import the color palette. Now go to effect control and select the control pen, color control and select the last one. Then click on the side dropper tool and select any color you want for title. And now let's change this all of this color. You can change this color according to your logo. So my logo is blue, so I'm using this blue color. You can use all of them. So select the eyedropper tool and click here. Now select this. So after choosing color, you can delete this color palette. Go to project window. Now let's input the background photo here. Right click on your one, go to new and new solid. Rename it to flare. Now search for lens flare. Apply it to this layer. Now drag this anchor point to the center. Decrease the brightness. Change this blending width to screen. After that again go to project window and import your logo to the composition. I am writing this logo here. After that decompose this. Rename it to logo animation. Select move to all attribute here. After that double click to the logo composition and then again pre-compose it, rename it to logo. Don't forget to select move to all attribute, click OK. 
now make it 3d then press p to open position click here and right click on your mouse select separate dimension now press alter and click here explain this and type here index close it now press ctrl d to duplicate it 29 times after that back to the main composition make it 3d also and click on this icon press R to open rotation change the Y rotation you can see the 3D effect here drag it to the around 3 second press R to open rotation and change this rotation Y rotation value to 19 create a composition create a keyframe here go to around 1 second and change it to 0 select this keyframe and make it easy -ish. Now here press S to open scale, create a keyframe here, go to around 1 second and change the scale value to 19. Now right click on your mouse, go to new and create a new text. Type your title here, change the color to drag this to here. Sorry, select the right click on this text and pre composite, rename to title. Don't forget to select move to all attributes then click ok. Now go to effect and preset and search for fill. Drag and apply it to this title composition. Go to color control, lock this layer. Select the fill, explain this, go to effect, fill and press alter and click on this stopwatch icon then drag this. To this color now you can see that this color is changed now press a stop in scale again create a keyframe here Change the scale below to 19. Back to the 4 second and change this to 
SCO to open all keyframe. Now again go to project window and drag this ribbon one to this composition icon it will create a new composition here now drag the fill below the ribbon one now select the fill and change this track map to loma mat now right click on your mouse go to new create new solid rename it to color and go to effect and preset and search for fill apply it to this color window now again go to color control explain this effects fill now again press alter here and drag this to this color it will change our color now press ctrl d to duplicate this ribbon drag this above the color and change this to loma mat and this color blending mode to overlay you can see that color is changed now you can go to project window we need to do same thing with all of this for ribbon but i'll do it in shortcuts just click on this ribbon one composition press ctrl d to duplicate this it will create ribbon two then double click there and open it in new composition now select this ribbon one select this and control then click here now drag this ribbon to press alter and drag the ribbon to here it will change our ribbon one to ribbon two now click on this color go to fill and again go to color control drag this to this color it will change the color do the same thing with all of the ribbon ribbon control control d double click select ribbon to select ribbon 3 press alter and hold drag this to this ribbon 2 color explain this go to color control drag this to color control 3 go to project window again control d double click select ribbon 3 Press Alter and Hold, drag Ribbon 4 to Ribbon 3. Select Color, Explained. Go to Effect and Control, drag this. Okay, now back to the main composition. Go to Project Window. Drag Ribbon 4 here, then Ribbon 3, Ribbon 2. Make sure that all of the ribbon is placed by 1, 2, 3. Select all of the ribbon. Go to around 6 frame. Now drag the lens flare effect here, change this blending mode to screen. Now let's have a look.
so i hope you like this video if you like this video then please share it and comment or don't forget to subscribe my channel